Hey guys, The End of Blender here, and I'll show you the fastest way to earn money in Smoothie Factory Tycoon. Here is a quick rundown of the two strategies I'll be covering. Strategy number one. This strategy is by far the best, though it's not free. The main factor in this strategy is how blenders are priced. To actually start producing from a blender, you must first buy the blender itself and then the first dropper. This is pretty fair until you consider that when using the golden blender, you only need to purchase the blender and not the dropper. The golden blender basically just acts as an exact duplicate of the best blender you've purchased. Let's say you've bought up to the banana blender, but you don't own the dropper yet. That means you've spent 1000 and you're not producing anything yet. But if you own the golden blender, it comes with the free dropper, thus starts producing with the value of a banana. That means if you own the Golden Blender Game Pass, you only need to spend half the price to upgrade your blender. It doesn't end there though. When you buy another dropper for the Golden Blender, it stays there. That means you don't need to rebuy droppers every time you buy a new blender, like you would if you don't own the Game Pass. Now, to demonstrate how overpowered this strategy is, I'll do a quick playthrough from Banana Blender to Reaper, once with the first strategy and once with the second strategy to compare the two. While this time lapse is playing out, I'll put a stopwatch at the corner of the screen to track the time. And also, just so the time lapse isn't boring, I'll talk about a few other key factors to help earn more money, Game Pass or not. First and foremost, you don't need to waste your money on any of the factory buttons yet. As a reminder, they're the orange colored ones. Spending your money on them when you have below 25 to 50K is a huge waste because in both strategies, the amount of jars you have never really goes high. Next, upgraders are good. Basic upgrader levels one and two are both really good to start with, but anything higher really isn't worth it until you have enough money to not be spending all of it at once. Also, there's the jar painter, which has a pretty cheap first upgrade, but it's not really too good, so avoid it at first. Finally, this one is game pass specific, but if you have the golden wonder, you need to know when to buy the next dropper. The second dropper, is 10k, so I suggest buying it after the Kiwi Blender. The third is 1 million, so I recommend buying it after you've purchased the Raspberry Blender. Time lapse is almost over, so I'll just let this play out. It has like 30 seconds left, and uh, we will see what the time is. Now, before I reveal the times, strategy two, free to play. This strategy may be free, but it's definitely faster than when you're not using any strategy. Because of prices and other annoying things, here's a basic formula on how many droppers to purchase based on what blender and what multiplier you have. One to 2.5x multiplier. Purchase two droppers for blender strawberry to kiwi, then all three for the rest. Three to 5x multiplier. Purchase one dropper for strawberry to kiwi, then two droppers for blueberry to raspberry, and three for all the rest. 5.5 to 8x multiplier. Purchase one dropper for strawberry to grape, two droppers for raspberry to crystal, and three for all the rest. Make sure you follow all the same rules I discussed in the previous time lapse, and you'll be rebirthing super fast. Now, onto the final time lapse. Just like before, stopwatch in the corner. Just to fill up this time lapse, I have a cool thing to say. If you don't own the Golden Blender yet, then today might be your lucky day. I'll be giving away a Golden Blender Game Pass by using SFT's snazzy gifting system. To enter, all you have to do is comment your Roblox username. On the 1st of October, I'll pin the comment of one lucky winner, and I'll send you a friend request on Roblox too. Then, all you have to do is join me in game, and I can give you the Game Pass. With that out of the way, I'll let this time lapse play out and I'll continue when it's over.
With the tests concluded, I'll now reveal the final times, though I'm sure you already know which one won. Without further ado, the winner is... The first strategy, with a time of 17 minutes and 33 seconds. Wowie, and the second strategy coming in second with a time of 26 minutes and 3 seconds. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.